Chapter 2. Dally sat in the common room or raven paw, sketching a picture of Hiei and thinking of his kiss. Suddenly, Say looks up the fire up in front of her, and a face appeared. The fire turned blue like water, but it was fire, and the eyes were yellow. Hello, said the fire. Mom, asked Dally. Just then, Mystique came out of the fire. She was naked, but she didn't have nipples. Now that you are a wizard, I can give you my powers, said Mystique. She handed me an orb, and then suddenly the room turned colors. Ah, 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 screamed Della. She was in a lot of pain and suffrage. Then Mystique disappeared, leaving Dally with a belt with an X on it. She was now a mutant. Dally could feel a new rush hour of power in her organs. She tried it out and turned into a bat. Well, I could already do that because I'm a vampire, lol, she thought to herself. So ten, she tried it out again and turned into a demon chaos chow. A little spiky ball was above her head. Oh my fucking Christ, she said. I can turn into whatever I want with Mustick's powers. She pulled out her blackberry and did he a he a I am a chow, he came right over. She turned back, though, because it would be creepy if they kissed, and he said it was really cool. He wanted the powers, too, so he asked the fire, Can you give me those powers, too? No, Mystique showered. You are not my doter, and therefore I cannot pass the powers on to you. However, if you get married, you will be my son, so we can do it then. You know what this means, he has said. If we get married, I can have the powers. But suddenly, Dally began to think of the other guys in her life. There was Edward. He had Bella, but she said something out, liking her on the trolley. And there was Shadow, who looked at her like, I like you. She loved he I, but she liked the others. I don't think so. I have cold toes, said Dally, and she ran away crying. No, you can't leave me here at the altar, shouted he in upset. Ha ha ha, laughed Mystique. You will never fucking get to powers. And then she disappeared, and so did he, because he's not supposed to be in Raven Call's dorm room. Well, what the fuck was he thinking? Dali wept quietly to herself when all of a sudden a blonde walked out of his class and a prick, a prick, a good bucket. What's wrong, Dally? he asked. Who are you? I asked. Oh, my name is Draco Malfoy, he said. Arf, you okay? Dally looked into Drake's eyes and saw that he cared. He was full of compassion, like a snake. The boy held out a hand and pulled up Dally up. Do you want me to walk you to your class? he asked. I would love that, Dally said, battering her ashes. They began to walk down the hallway together when a blast came out before them. It was Edward. Dally, he shouted, what are you doing with all these boys? Um, Edward, it's really none of your business. Now let's go to the Great Hall, she snipped. It is dangerous, he began to raise his voice. Just then Draco pulled out his wand, and him and the vampire got into a big fight. But Dumbledore came up and broke it up. That's it, he shouted. You boys will come have a talk with me in my office. And then they left. So Dally had to go to the Great Hall all by herself, but then Shadow came and joined her. What is a pretty girl like you doing all be yourself in the Great Depression all alone, he asked her. Well, he is being an asshole, she said and cried again. Shadow put his paw on her leg and massaged her, caressing. It's okay, he said it's okay. Meanwhile, he was updates punishing Walls angrily. Why did I hurt her, he asked himself, and then he thought of a soluble. I will win her back, he said. Meanwhile, Edward and Draco were upstairs in Dumbledore's house. They were sitting on his bed because they were out of cars. What do you think punishment should be? Dumbledore asked, pacing around. He was wearing a black t-shirt and ripped Hollister jeans that showed off his muscles. Edward Gred. His senses were tingling that something was not wrong. Suddenly, Dumbledore put his hands on both of their legs and said, I can think of something. Oh my god, you faggot, Draco screamed. He tried to run, but he could not.